I'm Jennifer Shirk. I am based at the Cornell Lab of Ornithology and I work to support citizen science as a field of practice through citizenscience.org and through collaborations towards a growing citizen science association. Citizen science, in my mind, has the potential to really integrate the tool of science with social concerns. And that can happen in so many different ways. And right now the field is growing so rapidly um, that there are innovations in disciplines as diverse as public health and astronomy and um, neurobiology just really pushing forward the idea of how science is done in new collaborative ways to address shared concerns. I think there are challenges moving forward towards how citizen science can be done in, in new and different ways. How we can look at um, making sure that that projects are um, being designed efficiently, that we're not creating new projects when there's existing infrastructure that we can leverage to move forward, um, about not segregating data into discrete projects when those data could be more productively shared. Um, and looking at opportunities for bringing data into conversation with, with each other, even across projects, to start um, addressing questions and concerns through multiple data streams and data sources. Um, so I think the, that the issues and opportunities, the challenges and opportunities go hand in hand as this field grows and, and pushes this practice forward into new and exciting areas. One of the things that is happening right now um, for the field of practice is the development of a citizen science association. In fact, many, um, several citizen science associations are springing up to serve a role of networking and connecting projects um, to advance the field of practice. I'm involved in one called the Citizen Science Association, not a terribly creative name, um, but some of the services that the Citizen Science Association is aiming to provide um, really do fill that, that need to facilitate um, networking and communication across projects. So uh, the Citizen Science Association is looking into developing a journal um, that will provide a place for publishing um, research into the theory and practice of citizen science so that those insights can be shared across different scientific disciplines but all found in one open access place that practitioners um, can find uh, that, where they can gain insights from projects that may be coming from a different perspective. The Citizen Science Association is also uh, looking to provide um, website and communication tools and online infrastructure for networking and sharing ideas. And a part of that will be a redevelopment of the citizenscience.org website to be um, uh, in better service to a diverse field of practice. And one thing that's coming up soon that the Citizen Science Association is um, is facilitating is another conference um, around uh, cross-disciplinary conversations uh, that will be held in February in San Jose, California that will bring together hundreds of practitioners to talk about um, the work that they're doing and the innovations in their projects and the new and pressing concerns so that we can all collectively and together um, start to both bring attention to and, and move forward the work that we're each doing in our separate contexts and advance the, the field of practice as a whole. Events like, like this um, that has been hosted by the Moustakis Institute here to facilitate regional conversations um, really, I think, have a lot of 
potential to build communities of practitioners um, who have access to each other on a more regular basis. And I think it's really exciting to consider how um, regional collaborations can be a point of innovation for the field where practitioners who have the opportunity on a more regular basis to sit down and share ideas and work across disciplines um, to maybe share data sets or, or um, talk about doing social science research into a, a citizen science project, whether that's evaluation or better understanding the needs of, of um, the practitioners or the volunteers. I think these kinds of close collaborations um, are really well facilitated through regional conversations such as, such as this event, and I really hope that um, there's the potential for a regional hub to develop around citizen science um, in Western Canada.